the proliferation of mad people. It has become a common sight to see people in different states of mental degradation on our roads. One of my most significant memories was formed as a child, seeing my neighbor's son, Francis, commanding traffic on a bright school morning without any affiliation to yellow fever or the traffic wardens. Francis was naked and oblivious of that fact. He had the silly grin on his face as he waved his hands about. His parents and siblings were mortified. His friends initially amused became scared. Who next will ex exhibit this public folly? Because they all knew about the habits that led Francis to this point of public ridicule, drugs and perhaps an overindulgence in alcohol. Mm -hmm. Fortunately for Francis, his parents took him off the streets and rehabilitated him. Today, I see that vacant smile on the faces of young men and women in different stages of mental degradation all over the place, mad people everywhere. These victims of drug abuse have become such a common sight that we walk past them without realizing that it is a failure on our part to accept this aberration as a norm. What has become of rehabilitation? I think about their parents. I wonder if the government officials, Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture can do something about this. If we can have a livestock ministry to address the issues of agriculture, it is time to take stock of the menace of drug addiction and give them a semblance of their lives back. To paraphrase William Burroughs in The Naked Lunch, you do not sell drugs to the addict, you sell the addict to the drug. The humanity of these victims have been stripped away and they are just empty shells with vacant smiles who have surrendered to the powerful substance of drugs. The proliferation of drugs on our streets, schools, and communities all over the country is a national crisis. The NDLA has, under General Buba Marwa, is doing a fantastic job. His commitment to fighting the scourge of drug abuse and arresting traffickers is laudable. On a daily basis, new pictures are added to the infamous NDLA family album of all, of all those related through drug trafficking. Drugs have, drugs have so many names now that it's difficult to keep up with their increasing nomenclature. Cocaine, crack, methamphetamine, called Umpurumiri down in the east, skunk, scoochie, Colorado, loud, Nyaupe in South Africa, and all other derivatives from Indian hemp. The battle is beyond just arresting drug barons. They keep multiplying. A woman was recently arrested for taking drugs to a correctional facility in Abuja. Mm -hmm. We now need a robust intervention in drug habilitation. The battleground is on the streets where the young men and women have come to openly show us that they need us to help them get back into the society as human beings. So now my question is, what are we going to do about these people that are still children, Nigerians, who are all over the streets, we see them, we shift. We see them, we shift. But what are we going to do? I'm, I, my concern is not even for the people selling drugs to them. My concern is for the people mm -hmm. and why it has become normal. Somewhere along, I don't know, going there are two sisters. I, I think that's, they look like, like twins. When you see them in the rain, in the sun, they're on the streets, they're just walking up and down, you know. You know, they are not normal. But the point is now we hide behind oh mental mental health issues. We used to call this a madness, but calling it mental health is like oh okay, and they have mental health issues, so it's no longer our problem. Where are the churches? Mm -hmm. Where is the government? What response? Because some of these children go to schools and they 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 are introduced to drugs on our campuses yes. and the school premises, secondary schools. Yes. So. My concern is for their rehabilitation. Let's NDLA keep fighting, you know, catching the drug what, what Where? Ministry of Youth Sports and, is it culture? Ministry of Youth, Youth, and, sports. Youth and Sports. These are athletes that are now on the streets, lying morose under the influence of crazy drugs. So what, what can we as human beings do about this? Okay, um, I'll try to check on something. If we would, we can't say, at this point, we can't leave everything to the government mm. or to the parents or to um, facilities or NGOs or mm -hmm. people. So it's not, I, I always advocate for collective effort, communal ideology. Don't say because it's not mine, it's not my problem. 
Mm -hmm. You get people have come up with um, ideas about how to tackle issues regarding mental mm -hmm. health and all mm -hmm. that. But how are these people being encouraged to carry out this um, work? Mm -hmm. Like you said, um, most of them are. I can't just say most of them are athletes too, because I know. No, no, no. I said they could be athletes. Could be, yes. The Ministry of Youth that is about. Like, they could. So these are young. Yes, would have been athletes create. that are just on the road. They're all over the place. Yeah, not they are not doing yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 because they find and jobs in school. Exactly. Yeah. Another thing is peer pressure. Mm -hmm. They want to be. They want to belong mm -hmm. to a certain crew that does not make sense to me. Mm -hmm. They want to feel strong. Taking drugs. Because that's what I'm saying. Peer pressure. I'm seeing my friend doing it. My friend is and strong. Like, no. You are not doing it. You are not tough. That is the idea. Mm -hmm. So when when they start doing it, you start seeing them on the streets. You start seeing them. It's yeah, more like a rave. Like that. you said, different derivatives, different names and all mm -hmm. that. They are jumping from one to the other. When meth came, it was meth everywhere. They mm -hmm. even do it on social media. Mm -hmm. They put it out there. And people look at it and laugh and say, oh, yeah. that's, that boils down to lack of communal ideologies, lack of, you get... Watch me, I watch you. Watch me, I watch you. Yeah. They don't have that keeping my, being my brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we can have that mentality as a people, a lot of things, at least to an extent, will be solved. Mm -hmm. So that's from okay, my, I'd like to say something, right? Um, continue from where you stopped. So I think some days back, someone came on social media to actually talk against a particular artist, you know. Okay. Um, yes, yes, uh, yes. yes. So, I, I just don't want yes, to mention the names, this. right? Um, and and um, she mentioned that the record label should actually caution the... That is not the job. The, the, the record label did not push that cigar. Or, yeah, they did not. No, but it was just a communal You know what? You know what I'm trying to bring up here? You cannot blame the record label. At the yeah. same time, the record label yeah, has she was saying that to you also take caution. You just because she came on to talk about the it's fact that it should be put on the record. This, what you call them, uh, skit makers, yeah. uh, actors, and actors, and actors, and actors and and people in the entertainment, they want to show that. Yeah, and she actually also, I think I read through the comment section, and some people said, okay, maybe peer pressure. But a peer pressure in the entertainment world, peer pressure. They are making their skin. I see no reason why they're doing it. And you know, a lot of young people follow me. It's very young. So now, very, very young. And so this should also, you know, pressurize other young people who follow him to just, oh, this is exactly normal. Exactly. No, but what about people who go to parties now and they lace their, their drinks, drinks and food like drink. with uh, all of this, you know? Yes. And then when they start to misbehave mm -hmm. under the influence, they bring out their uh, phones. And and that and that that so for me, I think again, there should be something towards that. If you poison or if you lace um, your, whatever yeah. with drugs, yeah, you know, and all that. And then it is traced directly to you that it's you now take this people's awesome. picture, put it on social media. Yeah. There has we to be something. Be if we're arresting people for spraying Naira, mm -hmm. exactly. we should, exactly. we should exactly. get yeah. those yeah. people. Why can't yeah. we do so now? Yeah. Yeah. Why in your party? So yeah. you will be a party yes. 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 You know, it's, it's, uh, they say Molly, so that you're, you're awake all through dancing and stuff like mm -hmm. that. What, what happens? And, the truth is that most people who sell drugs don't take it. They, know they what, don't. What's sure. they don't. They don't know what truth. You know, exactly. Part of the problems we have with some people in South Africa is that, like the, the man who was arrested recently, mm -hmm. he was selling drugs in South Africa. Mm -hmm. He came back and moved to his village. Mm -hmm. NDLA got him. That's why they sell things like Nyaupe. Nyaupe is a deadly drug. Once they give it to you once, addiction starts almost immediately. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they do these things to just put these people under their control. The more mm -hmm. addicts you create, the more customers you yeah. have. I remember someone, two people did just that they addicts. Some people that they keep yeah. money they rolling. They do that. So edibles. So you can keep, so, so yeah, edibles. edibles. Yes. Yes. And it, I was very, you know, I was actually shocked at every bank. I was still in school at the time. Hmm. Yes. 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 You know, it's edible. No, no, I didn't eat, <laughs> right? But I actually had. Uh, you know, and I, I saw the person that was in charge of, he would come, you know, sell to students. And I was really shocked. And um, yes, so I think that people should, should be enlightened, you know, about these things. And 
the wrath of the Lord. Actually, people who are uh, you know, you caught to face the wrath of the Lord. Yes. Young yes. people that ought to be productive using their intellectual yes. prayers yes. for something good. And, and then they are talking about yes. rehabilitation. The properties of those ones that they have been arrested, they've been jailed, should be appropriated and used into re for rehabilitation yes. purposes. Yes. Yes. People go to hide in home with every day to take whatever yeah. substance. It's it's cr so they're smoking if you have everywhere on the street. Building, you have to watch your home with the building. Yes. You should not allow people to misuse it. Every time in the mornings, uh, you are if you are the bus bus stop or you see them, mm -hmm. they are taking um the women carrying the stuff. Yeah. They are mixing yeah. all sorts of stuff. Yes. Squishy yeah. is a mixture of whatever. And truly, yes, I know of a lady I was told recently that. She takes Kushi so that I can help her sleep. She's going through the breakdown of her marriage I'm and serious. stuff like that. So it, that one is it's another thing. But the fact that it is there, it's bottled um, elixir. Just it could be temporary. But people, somebody says, "Oh, I use this thing. It help me sleep." And then people just yes, people know it, it's, 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 it's an addiction. Yes. It's an addiction. Like the right channel. You 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 you, 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 you have a medical condition or psychological. Issue. Just go to for go therapy. To right. Yeah, you but it's just not a good look for the society that all. young people are in different states of mental mm -hmm. degradation. Okay, aside from drug abuse, I wanted to bring your attention to something. What about the let's talk about mental health? You know, in this part of the world, when you tell someone that oh mental health, take a mental health, you go for therapy, mm -hmm. there's this stigma. Oh no, 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 I don't want to be associated as someone that is going mm -hmm. mad or something. Mm -hmm. That's that why there are advocates take, of mental health. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I, I'd like to hear a thought of that. What can we do to like or see to Nigerians and say, look, let's take, take let's seek mental health help um uh, mental advice. health advice, mental health therapy, mental health cure or whatever. Just to help your mental Absolutely. state, especially when you are passing through difficult situation. Yeah, um, don't forget that a lot of therapy, even if you go to the professional, is talk therapy. They mm -hmm. will let you talk about, talk about the you. things um, that happen to you and all that. Um, we've heard now a few people who have taken their lives because they felt, oh, there's, there's nobody, nobody to talk to. Talk to. But I tell people that as you have your physical body, you have your mental. mental. So if you can treat your physical body if you're mm -hmm. not feeling well, why not for your mental, mental health? Yeah. It's not a purely a religious exercise where, oh, they say, okay, go and read this or go and mm. chant that mm. yes. or go and fast and yeah. stuff like that. Let's it's it's, it's not, you, you know, because that out. Yes, because, so because yeah. that is not it. Um, when people, you know, people say, oh, if somebody takes their life, the person is being, um, uh, the person is mean, they are not, you know, they are cowards and all that. Okay. I don't. I. I really do not subscribe to that. First of all, they are trying to change the narrative that it's not committing suicide. You die by suicide because in Nigeria, committing suicide is a crime. Yeah. It's a crime yes. So I wonder if you're going to jail the dead body exactly. or the person. <laughs> well, we who we are actually we arrest him. But so I think that, that um, you can, if you don't have anyone to talk to, people always say, "There's some who really do not have anyone to talk, talk to. to." You can write down some of the things that you're going through. So maybe talking about certain things, putting it down in right when you really realize that maybe it's really not as bad as yeah, what I thought it was. Yes. But I think as human beings, in our little circles, in our family, in our small group of friends, we should so be able to let people know that we are there for them mm. without judgment. Yeah. You know, if people do not trust you enough, they can never be vulnerable with you. Sure. So when people trust you, they can come and talk to you mm. And they know that what they are talking to you will not be on social media tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, pastor will know you to give testimony yes. in church. Yes. You know, yes. give, yes. give yes. example. Yes. You know, you know, you know how uh, that is such a betrayal. Mm -hmm. So when you feel you can't even trust anyone, I mean, or you're in a cranky relationship, you tell your dearly beloved mm -hmm. ah, do you, do you, tomorrow when you call the person says mm, that's mm, that's mm, that is how you know you yes, it feels like you know social media. So, so yes. Things. So people say, ah thank God do ah, the person I thought was this, this mm -hmm. is what they are going through. Ah the person what the who is the person going to go to? So mm -hmm. I think that we should be able to work out a way that we can actually be there for someone mm -hmm. without judgment. Mm -hmm. If someone comes if Someone comes in and says, I'm pregnant and I don't know who the father is. Is like it for you to pinch yourself and say, hmm? Yeah, That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've not even asked what happened. What happened. So for me, these are some of, you know, the examples that, oh, I'm owing money. Mm -hmm. 
I know a young man who took a loan from one of these loan okay. apps. And they are threatening to put his picture out mm. there, you know, they've hacked into his phone, they are going to take personal pictures and put out there. And he was just going around talking to himself oh. when he came. And you know, that was already the his mental fabric disintegrating, breaking down. And I said, call your family. Mm. Sit them down and tell them this is what is happening. I promise you, your family would rather sort you out then, than yeah. you go and take your life or their picture and everything. Your picture is going to be out there okay. on social media. And he actually did. And he found out that the judgment was not as bad as what he thought exactly. it was going to be. My point is we should create safe spaces yes, within safe us spaces. that yeah, someone yes, can come yeah. and talk to us without... You might not have the money to give someone who's mm -hmm. old, but you can give them... A, I didn't have money to give this young man, but I was able to direct him on how he was going to go about it, mm -hmm. and he sorted. So for me, uh, a child... You hear a child took his life in school because he failed his exam. Oh, mm -hmm. his parents... And the mother will be like, why didn't you just tell me? Is it not an exam? Mm. Oh, you could have just written another one and stuff. But at that point, because of the narrative that's already played, mm. if you fail, you cannot come back to this house. Mm. If you get pregnant, you that cannot come true. back to this house. I will disown you. Mm. We've so, seen children that were born to single moms who have gone ahead to do amazing things. Yeah. things yeah. It might be hard, but it's going to get possible. better. Yeah, it's true. possible. So for me, that is just the easiest way we can do. So the question I'm going to ask myself is, how good of a friend am, am I, I to, to yeah, people? Yeah. So I need to, to take uh, some responsibility, accountability mm -hmm. in the trust someone has placed in me as, as a friend, as, mm -hmm. you know, as a partner mm -hmm. in anything. So that's where we start from. And we should also watch the kind of scripts we use with people. Mm -hmm. In some offices, right. you make a mistake, your boss is telling you, you're useless. Mm -hmm. You're an income poop and stuff like that. Those are some of the hard words we use. And we don't know our culpability mm -hmm. in some of these things mm -hmm. that, that happen. Mm -hmm. So for me, mental health is something we need to talk through. And we have to be available to the people. Mm -hmm. to, to, for them to sure. talk to us and talk it out. Yeah. Yeah. Mental health is as important as taking care of your physical health. Mm -hmm. It's all about speaking up. As you join your voices to us, keep your comments coming on social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on X and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. 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 Bye.